Hello, we're going to take a look at the deesser plugin from Waves. This is a plugin for getting the harsh S sounds that are sometimes in vocal tracks uh, back under control, especially after using compressors with a vocal track. Sometimes those S sounds can become really distracting and maybe even painful to listen to. And so this is going to let us bring those back into a reasonable range. So first of all, when, when you start the plugin, you're going to pick which frequencies you want to work around. This is going to be uh, where the S's are for that particular vocal. You can either pick a preset here, um, or you can use an EQ to find that specific vocal range by boosting around and, and determining where it is. Usually these starting points are pretty good because uh, female S's or male S's tend to be around the same area. Um, so if we listen to this, I may, didn't need a man to feel completed. You clued me and what was missing. Okay, here's some S's in this what was missing section. Was missing. Right now, nothing's happening, even though we have the frequency set because we have the threshold too high. So this is uh, when this frequency is over this amount of decibels, uh, then the plugin starts working. So we need to bring that down. And now you can see as it's passing it, it's attenuating or turning down uh, these frequencies. When it's in split mode, that means it's going to just turn down the S sounds around that frequency. We also have an option of wide mode. Wide mode means when the S sounds come in, over this decibel, it's going to turn down everything in the track. Was missing. So if you wanted everything to be removed every time there's an S, you have it on wide. Was missing. But normally split mode is going to uh, be more what we're looking for. Uh, this is a high pass or band pass option. So in high band pass, it's going to be working specifically around this frequency. Uh, in high pass, then it's going to be looking for S sounds anywhere starting from this frequency and above. Was missing. Yeah. And, if you, me. and if you want to hear specifically the audio that is in this range that you set, then you can go to S. Um, you can go to the side chain here in the monitor section. And this was not going to be the output that you want to uh, be getting for this track, but this is just to preview what you're, what you're actually uh, pinpointing with these settings. So it's going to sound very thin, and hopefully your S's will be in there, or at least the harsh frequencies of them. And uh, the only thing I haven't mentioned now is this output meter, which is just your uh, uh, overall volume of the track as it's coming out of this plugin. Was missing, yeah. Bit of me would think these blog posts were your way of screaming. You got me lying here, believe it. It's like I was missing. And once you understand what all this does, the important thing, as always, is to uh, be using your ears and make sure that you're removing the S's to a point where it still doesn't make your track feel empty or emotionless. You want to reduce it to, so that it's pleasant to listen to, but not overdo it. Was missing. Yeah, bit of me would think these blog posts were your way of screaming.